Hello guys, um, I have a new video with, for you guys today. Uh, I had something else planned, um, but I'm kind of improvising because Snapchat recently had a new update and the hack I used to know doesn't work anymore. So basically, I'm gonna imp improvise and uh, show you some of the photography apps I use on my Instagram photos. And you could get all these in the app store. I don't know if they're all on Android, but I'm pretty sure you could get them all, or you can basically get them all on uh, the app store. So yeah, let's get started. So the first app I like to use is Google Photos. Um, Basically, Google Photos is a cloud storage uh, thing that sets up with your Gmail and all your, all your Google accounts, so it's pretty easy to access. And um, basically, whenever I take photos and, and I have them on my Mac, I just upload them to Google Photos or any cloud storage, and um, they save automatically to the cloud, so it's easy to access through an app on my mobile app, because it's kind of annoying transferring photos from your Mac or your DSLR to your phone, and this is an easy way to keep them forever. They do lower the resolution a tad bit, but um, it's a great way to keep photos for a long time, easy to access, easy to transfer from your phone to your Mac or vice versa, or your Mac to, or any computer basically, uh, any computer to your phone. So that's a great app that I like to use. Okay, so another app I like to use, I'm pretty sure this is paid for, is called Retouch. Um, it's kind of an easy way to Photoshop, not really Photoshop, but uh, I'll give you an example. So um, if you don't want to blemish, on uh you know let's go to brooklyn bridge original quality and let's say you know there's a bird in the sky that i don't want or uh you know well this photo is pretty okay but uh let's say i don't want the american flag which is not okay but let's say i don't want the american flag or anything anything that's kind of ugly in my photo to be you know seen so basically you go to okay so you pr so basically you press the lasso click and the red shows anything you want to be gone with you press start and it processes it and it disappears just like that it's a great app to you know you know remove any blemishes I didn't want to remove that uh, American flag but that's the only thing I had to you know blemish or retouch but it usually works good for lens glares um, basically you know a tree that's in the corner that you don't want to make the photo look cleaner or you know a bird or just like a, a speck of dust you know it's basically a good way to clean up your photo and now obviously now it looks perfect but you do see sometimes uh, the effects of it but if you zoom out it looks perfectly fine so the next app is an editing app that I love to use and it's Snapseed um, I like it way more than uh, Visco or any other editing softwares on your phone and it's by Google it's free and let's just choose this photo. I posted this photo on IG recently. A lot of people enjoyed it. And uh, basically it's just an editing app and uh, it's pretty simple. So you basically slide up and down to see what you want, like saturations, shadows, highlights, and you slide left to right to adjust it. And basically I, I found that I really enjoy this app more than Visco or any other apps. So yeah, that's my favorite editing app. And uh, yeah, those are basically the apps I like to use. Um, definitely check those three apps out. I'll leave them in the description um, So it'd probably be easier for you to find them on the App Store and yeah, hope you enjoyed this Make sure to tweet me snap me and Instagram me yo definitely add me on snapchat because I've been uh, really snapping on there and interacting and uh, You know snapping all you guys. I love the questions you guys snap me So yeah, definitely add me on snapchat check out the hashtag Choose me Marcos winner and my previous video. Bye.